My name is Carl Williamson. My name is Marty Wolf. Fighting out of Gracie Baja Channel Islands. Uh, I fight from uh, LETC in Leighton Buzzard. My coach is Rob Staples, Andrew Porras and Stuart McIntyre. My coach is James Pullen. Current weight is 70 kilos. I'm fighting at 70 kilos or lightweight. My current MMA record is 1-0. and oh. I don't have a current record, I've, this is my MMA debut. Um, I got into MMA by training jiu-jitsu with Rob Staples quite a few years and then when MMA came to the island I started that a few years ago. Well, I first started off in Ireland doing a bit of Thai boxing. Um, as I started off as a self-defence sport and then I started watching UFC and got more and more into MMA and then when I moved to England about August last summer um, I started training at LTC and just got into it. My style of fighting is mainly jiu-jitsu. Um, I have been working my stand-up quite a lot recently, but I'm looking to go to the ground in this fight. Uh, my style of fighting is mostly striking, as I come from a Thai boxing background. But I also do have uh, good wrestling and a bit of ground game. Uh, I think I've trained a lot harder for this fight, as I've been training six, seven days a week for the last seven weeks, seven, eight weeks. And I think that makes me better than my opponent. Rumble on the Rock's a great event. Uh, first MMA event in Jersey. Really great to bring MMA to the island. It's a unique sport in the island, so yeah, it's really good. Rumble on the Rock seems like a great show and I can't wait to fight on it. He's looking a tiny bit nervous, but that's normal, that's to be expected. He's a young lad. I mean, this, how many fights has this guy had? Well, this one, this is his debut. He's this a very young lad. Yeah, how from the ATC. Right. So, who we got now? We've got Carl Williamson. This is Carl Williamson. This is our 19-year-old from Jersey. So, uh, what do you expect in this fight? I mean, what do you know about these guys? Well, I know from what I've heard about uh, Marty, he's a, he's a striker. Much prefers to stand up, as you can probably tell by his shorts. Even though some lads do well. Tired boxing. Exactly. Um, I've heard he's very good when he's on his game, uh, but obviously debut fight, you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know if he's going to come out confident. Yeah, you see grapplers who have never thrown a strike, well, maybe a couple of times, all of a sudden become not bad strikers, and you see strikers, hang on a second, they're doing grappling better than they do striking. Yeah? Exactly, yeah. It just depends what you take to, I guess, doesn't it? You see both these lads, very tall, very lean, long limbs, very good for grappling. I, I, I think you're the matchmaker, I believe. I am the matchmaker. And the promoter? Mm, I've, I've heard a rumour I might wear that hat as well. At the moment I'm commentator. So, right, are they, what are we looking, what are we seeing here? Look at these. Marty doesn't really want to engage in the eyes. They're neither of them, they're, not, they're a little bit nervous, but that's why I love this. It's grassroots MMA. What, have, what are we going to experience? Could we see potentially right? new Anderson Silvers? Let's see what they come out with. Nice jabs from uh, from Marty there. A serious looking face. Carl opens up with a leg kick there. Nice push kick, and he's on him. We got clinched up against the cage here. Carl followed in from that great teep kick there. He's got a tie clinch here. Seems like a nice tie plum there. Both strong guys, strong guys. Capitalising on the wrestling in this range, but like I said, it's still very entertaining. It looks like we're going to get a stand-up war which is great for the crowd. It is, the crowd love it. And Carl being primarily a grappler, this is nice to see him working his stand-up. Carl is in the MMA shorts, correct? That is, that's correct, yeah. Carl in the oh. white Gracie Bayer shorts. Nice shot in there, nice, well defended by Marty there. They're both. And they're both 19? Uh, I believe Marty's a little bit younger. That was a nice right hand from Carl. Faked with a front kick there, come over with a right hand. Nice combination coming in, but Marty returns fire. This is a great first round. Yeah, yeah. Marty's looking very serious, got a very lot of intent on his face. This is what oh. I love to say. I said, like I said in my warm up uh, speech, I love to see the passion. This is. This is great. I, I'd say Carl's looking a little bit more nervous out of the two at the moment. Marty seems to be getting in his rhythm. 
Carl seems to be looking for the opening for that takedown, so we'll see if he can get it. I think Marty has to be careful of that right hand from Carl, though. Carl's got a very good right hand, but he's opening up with the kicks as well. Nice head movement. Carl seems to have a much lower guard, and he's got a tight stance, which makes him very susceptible straight down the middle. Whoa, big right hand as you say that. Yeah. He's, uh, but Marty's moving well. Marty's definitely, his head's nice and loose. You he's know, moving. I've kicked boxed for many years. That's my first and foremost martial art. Right. For years, I would always spar with my hands down, fight with my hands down. It's only in the last recent years I've decided I don't want to get punched in the face. Yeah. <laughs> oh, a nice Carl opens up there. But his hands are very low after his combinations. Oh, yeah. He needs to be careful there. My point is there that you could keep your hands down and be cocky and be arrogant and you still get away with it. Exactly, exactly, yeah. It's, it's, it just takes a split second, as you know. Attitude is everything in a fight. You know, get a guy who breaks all the rules, but it's not. Oi, big go. hit there. Connected. He needs to capitalise there. That but was Marty a great didn't right hand. seem too phased by that. No, he seems to. He's both he's very impressed by these young lads, keeping yeah, their composure, moving well. A lot of chess going on. There's not really. Oh, whoa. Great first nice round first, there. Very good first who round. Who would you pick for that first round? Even Steven, to yeah. me. Even Steven, you? I think with that, with that last right hand, I think Carl, in my opinion, just edged it. Ding, right. ding. Seven Hopefully down. a second round, round like two, the first. Baby. Who's it going to be? We've got Marty in the tie shorts. Am I right there? And Carl That's in right. the MMA shorts. Carl in the white evolution shorts. Gracie Baja. So he should be more of a jiu-jitsu guy. Ooh, yes. Ooh. And he's caught that right hand again. That's good. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Quite like aggressive. I'm not sure aggressive is. You see, um, oh, nice with a sidekick there. Do you know what? I'm, I don't think he's purely jiu-jitsu. I think he's, from what I'm seeing, from Carl, he's done a bit of kickboxing. Some sort of stand-up. Maybe some karate, maybe some kung fu. He's done something. Well, he's got, some, he's got some great coaches. I mean, um, one of the guys that he's been warming up with backstage just took the uh, British Championship at light middleweight, I believe, in kickboxing, in uh, full contact kickboxing. Yeah. So he's definitely got some good coaches around him. Oi, and look at that. Oh, oh. Now he's opening up. Oh, oh. did he wobble him? Oh, no, he's got him on the back foot. He's got to be careful chasing with but his hands Marty's down. Marty's keeping it cool. He's he got is. his hands up. He's Beautiful. got a stance. He's not... What a flurry that impressed. was. That was amazing. He put it on him. Carl put it on Marty, but Marty stayed there. He's got his hands up and he's he's firing back with that jab. There Marty's we go. stuck in there. I think Carl's found a home for that right hand. A good you jab. Can, you, you can think? see on Marty's left eye there. Yeah. That he's nice still, body kick. He's, he's mixing it up. Now. I still I still prefer Marty's movement, from, much more lateral movement. But, but from that aggression, I give I, I so far I give it to Carl. Yes. Just yeah, for sure. sure there's some, uh, definitely but some clean oh. shots. Oi! I'm getting into this, I love it. Is Carl, oh what's going on? He's got a bit of an eye injury or something? I wasn't quite sure there. Mm -hmm. Is he tiring down a little bit? He seems to be, yeah. Yeah, and maybe think that flood, oh, oh, he's thrown up. Wow, that's impressive. <laughs> he's thrown up, oh yeah! This has got, um, oh! oh. Yeah, that could, that could be adrenaline, that could be nerves. He's thrown up and he's still going for Yeah, it. this is amazing. That's I impressive. think he needs to cover up. Should probably look to... That, I've never seen that, you know. <laughs> I know, yeah. A, a training partner of mine once threw up while he was getting a rear naked on him and had to re-swallow it. it was, oh, and he was, it was that wasn't a pleasant experience. No. And he had to tap because he couldn't breathe. Sure, well, I'm but surprised Carl's hanging in here. Good for this Carl. Is this is going to make him tough, I tell you. Is it win or lose? Look, look at him, go for it. Look at him. Oh, I'm in this now. Look at the guts on this young lad. This is amazing. We need to get some uh, stewards in the there blood. to wop up that puke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if they get on that, they're, they're going over. <laughs> wow. Very, very interesting. I imagine it's coming to the end of the round, the three minute rounds, and there's the 10 second one. And that's I think like Carl a psychic. Has hit an adrenal dump. He has, now I he's think. fighting on emotion. That was a big shock, but a beautiful head movement there. Wow. 
Love it. One more. We got one more. We got one more. Uh, the corner team's working hard. Oh, oh. that's it. It's, uh, Mark Day, our, our second referee, just said that the gum shield, and I know that, is made in reach. How vile. Oh, wow. He's going to be suffering. We need to get a serious gum shield. A better gum shield. Right, here we go. One more round. Who's it going to be? So you can see Marty smelling the blood now. And Carl's, Carl's shot in. This is MMA, remember, this is MMA, and they've not been going to the ground. That's it, exactly. They're quite happy to have it on the feet. Just hope that this gum shield doesn't cause problems for Carl. I, know. Oh, I can see it is causing problems. As you said that, he's like, oh, I don't like this. I know exactly what that's like. Do you know what that's like? I don't actually, know. It's the I, gag reflex. It makes you want to throw. I've seen, I've seen a few people have that problem. You I, stick I, your fingers down your throat. It's, it's basically the same, the same feeling. Is it because it's too big or, or yeah, it's just... Yeah, it's just a little bit too far back there and it just it makes you want to feel sick. Just got to get used to it. Kicks I'm are glad open to up, see yeah. that Carl blocked that leg kick he didn't block the first one. Oh, nice body kick there. Beautiful. This is a great scrap, this is. Amazing from these young lads. You know what? I, mean, I am liking this. Let's show some real guts. Real guts on both parts. Look at Marty's left it's eye is nearly closed. I give it Carl on the aggression, but Marty on the tactics and the strategy. I do. Stephen Carl. I do like Marty's movement. I've got to say, I say Carl's looking the more dangerous at the moment. A little bit. The sting seemed to have come out of uh, Marty's punches, and Carl's hunting him down. And these guys aren't experienced. They've not been in there with a lot of people. You know, they're having to find out what works for them as they go. You know, have to believe. Carl their laughing trainers. at him. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. He's laughing at him when he jabs him. Believe in their trainers, believe that they, they've got a good corner behind them and trust that what they're being told is going to work. It is. It's and a the scary... Oh, we've got some blood. Yeah, that's, that nose is really going oh, now. No, no. Is it superficial? Is it? Oh, no. It's... Whoa. Yeah, whoa. Oh. Yeah, good. Look, Look at this. this. <laughs> hey. What a corker. What a great scrap. What a great scrap. And look at Marty. What great guts yeah. to, uh, to be sticking in there. Carl's managed to turn this around from the second round where he was on the back foot throwing up all over the place and now look at this, look at the change Like I said I've, go to every, I've been to every single fight show from every standard from in a, a sports hall to the MGM Grand Arena and the, I love it all I want to see is passion that's it. You and, can't and ask for more than these guys. are going for it. This is, this is as exciting to me as John Jones versus Anderson Silva. Absolutely. Well, I mean, maybe one notch down. <laughs> oh, look at that! He must have heard you. Big right hand came over there. Oh! Oh! He that's needs to be careful that's charging that's him with his hands up. Marty's still, still in there. Look at this. Finishing, finishing with a bang. What a fight. What a oh great my God. fight from these two guys. Woo! Who's it going to be? I don't know, but I'm excited. Oh. He threw up. He threw up and he carried on. <laughs> We're just waiting for the judges' scorecards. Okay, fighters to the center of the cage, please. After three very exciting rounds, a bit of puke, a bit of blood. Our judges have a decision in favour of. Who do you think? Unanimous decision, Carl Williamson. Woo! Oh my God! Please give it up for your runner-up. Very good, very, very exciting fight. This is what it's all about for me. It's entertainment. Carl, please come here, sir. He's a jiu-jitsu guy. Jiu-jitsu is all on the ground, yeah, doing locks, twists, all that sort of stuff. Hey, I'm standing up. What's that all about? Where did you get your, your stand-up skills? I've been working with Topo and Stuart quite a lot recently, working my stand-up. So, who are these guys? Tell us for the uninitiated in here. Stuart and Topo are my coaches, along with Rob. Uh, Stuart and Topo were the ones in the cage with me tonight. <laughs> What's next for you? Where do you want to go? How old are you? I'm 19 years old, and well, I'll just go where. I... <laughs> 
Let's hear it for Carl Williamson. Woo! Oh my God! <laughs> Any thank you to anyone? Uh, yeah, I'd like to thank everyone coming tonight. You've been an amazing crowd, and I couldn't do it without you guys and all the people who support me and came tonight. Thanks. Let's get it on. Let's have another fight. See you later, guys.